Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys how to make whipping cream to decorate a cake. This whipping cream is more stable and looks better on a cake. You're gonna need powdered sugar, which is also known as confectioner sugar. The heavy whipping cream. I'm just using the Walmart brand. Some vanilla. And if you're gonna use this to decorate cakes, like I said, we are going to use some instant pudding vanilla flavor also. This helps to stabilize the whipped cream. But if you don't want to use this, that's fine. If you're just going to use it for some dessert that gets eaten fast. The cake, you know, sits a while before you cut a cake. So that's why we add pudding so it can last longer. So these are going to be all the ingredients I'm using. So the first thing you're going to do before you start, put your bowl and your whisk attachment either in the freezer, put it for about 10 minutes before you start, or if you put it in the fridge, put it about 15-20 minutes in there so it can get nice and cold and help the whipped cream to whip better. Two cups of the heavy whipping cream into my mixing bowl. We're gonna mix this until it starts making small peaks and add the vanilla to it. is when you will add some of the vanilla to it now this you can add as much vanilla as you'd like but don't put too much because if you're putting the pudding it already comes with vanilla flavor in it so just keep mixing it give it a little scrape on the sides so it all gets combined so the easiest way to know if your whipped cream is done, grab your spatula and hold it upside down. And if you give it a little shake, if it still slides off, it's not done. But at this point, and we are going to start adding our pudding mix to it, we will only need about half of the packet. happens mix it with your spatula so then we are going to add our powdered sugar and since we added the instant pudding it is already kind of sweet so I have about half a cup here put it on the stir option not on the mixing one so it's the slowest one it will get hard with the pudding but that's fine because that's what we need and now just try it mix it all in there to get all the edges so just depending how sweet you like it is how much sugar you'll add here. I do prefer mine to be a little sweet. When you add the sugar, just keep trying it to see if that's the sweetness you like. So for me, half a cup was perfect for about the two cups of the heavy whipping cream. So once we get to that point, our whipping cream is done. And you can decorate whatever you like with it. It's not just for cakes, but this is what I use for the cakes because it's real stable. And it will last like sitting at the table when you decorate a cake. And if you can tell, it almost looks like buttercream, but it's not. And at this point, if you want to add food coloring to it, use a gel color. And I'm just going to use red to make it pink since it's for my daughter, her birthday cake. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!